From Royal St David's in Harlech, we now head northwest as the crow flies across an inlet of the Irish Sea called Tramadog Bay. We are now in Cricketh, still within sight of Harlech Castle, but home to an amazing castle of its own. Like its more famous counterpart across the bay, Cricketh Castle sits majestically on the top of a rocky hill overlooking the sea. The view from the road running beneath the castle is much the same as the one in Harlech. Cricketh is on the way to remote Nevin in northwest Wales and the extraordinary Nevin and District Golf Club. Nevin is one of the more remote courses you could play in Britain. It's a long way from anywhere. It's a classic locals club and though the members certainly enjoy the bar, on a nice day they're far more likely to be relaxing on the patio. Why? Because you'll find at Nevin a place where the land and sea collide spectacularly. Here the sea is always within sight and golfers can experience the thrill of playing a truly undiscovered treasure. This is a course that will awaken your golfing senses. Hit high tee shots with the waves crashing below, negotiate dangerous carries over a rocky abyss. This is unusual terrain where gravity is sometimes the easiest way to transport your clubs to and from the green. And the coastline is as dramatic a rival to Pebble Beach or Old Head in Ireland. Nevin is always teeming with golfers, but mostly locals who've not travelled very far. It's also a popular haunt for beachgoers and tourists. But we're here to play golf. The first hole heads straight out to the sea. It might be a blind opening shot over the pole, but that's not so bad. The dramatic starts soon after at the second, where the green is perched high above the rocky shore. In fact, the first few holes run along the cliff, which again reminds you of Pebble Beach. From the back tee at the second, you're challenged to cut off as much of the beach as possible for a, a more direct route to the green. The third hole continues along the, the rocky shoreline to another high green, but one not quite as dangerous as the second. The fourth, however, is one of Wales' signature holes, but one that hardly anyone knows about. Scenery, solitude, seashore, the fourth at Nevin defines what golf in Wales is all about. Yet as great as the front side is here, the more amazing thing is that the real tests come on Nevin's back nine. The fun really begins on the 11th, a roller coaster par four with the green patched high above the fairway. It's a veritable crow's nest, and the closer you get to the green off the tee, the harder the approach becomes. But this is nothing compared to the 12th. From the front of the tee, you can see the fairway, but the green is still tough to spot on the right. You could stay here all day trying to figure it all out, but you have to hit sooner or later. And when you do, incredibly, you'll find that the hole actually crosses a public beach access road. And across the road, there's now a sinkhole to navigate. With pedestrians walking as well, it adds up to the most dangerous public safety hole in the British Isles, if not anywhere else. It's little wonder that many golfers and drivers alike stop here and head down to the cove, to the right of the green. Why, you ask? Well, down here is the Tukuk Inn, one of the great pubs in Wales. The more adventurous can access it from the 14th via dangerous beach path at the base of the cliffs, but regardless of how you find your way to the pub, you must visit it, especially on a warm summer's evening. To Kuken means the Red House, and the pub was built back in 1823. It's just impossible not to relax here because there's a perpetual holiday spirit around. Historic, nautical and sailing lights and lanterns adorn the walls and ceilings. The movie Half Light starring the lovely Demi Moore was actually filmed in this pub. With assorted local real car scales and convivial conversation to match, a visit to the Tukuk Inn will be one of the highlights of your trip. Back on the course, it just gets better still. Even more outrageous golf awaits. On the 13th, for example, it's possible to hook or slice your ball into the ocean, made possible by the incredibly narrow peninsula containing the back nine. Surely no other course offers such a fearsome possibility. 
For those that hit the fairway, at least, the approach shot is straight towards the sea, to a green nestled in amongst three dunes. Beware, the next stop behind the green is Ireland. This heart-pumping golf continues on 14, a gorgeous par 3 with the green down at sea level. A lone bunker protects the left, but don't miss it right. The ball may hit the nearby path and bounce into a watery grave. Here the tee shot will hang in the air apparently forever as it's launched from the top of the highest dune next to an old watchtower directly over the 13th green. In the distance are beautiful mountains, the deep blue sea and assorted sailboats, making the 14th one of the most scenic par threes a golfer will ever play. A deep breath of fresh air out here at the very tip of the peninsula is good for any golfer's soul. Playing golf here really is getting away from it all. With few modern communication networks working here, nobody will be able to contact you or find you. Just make sure you take it all in, for you won't soon encounter another par three or another setting like this one. There's still more golf to play though, and the 15th tee is right on top of the water. Just be careful with that last step back. There are plenty of distractions here, including the locals uh, catching fish just a couple of hundred yards away. But the blind tee shot with its long and difficult carry awaits. It eventually has to be navigated. To experience Nevin is to experience the essence of golf in Wales. True holiday golf, quirky, yes, but also utterly spectacular. It's not easy to get to, and that's all more reason to include it in the itinerary. You'll be left both spellbounded and exhilarated. You may never get here again, so while you are here, make the experience as memorable as possible. Walk the high fairways on top of the cliffs at one of golf's most astonishing courses, the amazing Nevin and District.